Okay guys, Josiah here again. I want to do another quick video to explain a um, simple indicator that I've made um, to uh, help traders to uh, correctly size their positions on the trades and uh, more quickly enter their orders uh, by just kind of streamlining the process here a little bit. Uh, so this is uh, uh, indicator that calculates your entry stop and um, stop size as well as uh, the number of shares that you need to purchase to um, uh, correctly size your position. So here we are on Apple uh, with a five minute chart here and um, you can see here we've got this candle with a high of 107.77 and a low of 107.66 and you can see up here in the Top corner, the indicator is telling us the uh, current high and low of the the latest five minute candle on this chart, and it's saying with a thousand dollar risk unit, uh, if you're wanting to risk a thousand dollars in every trade you take, which is what I have it currently set at, um, and with an eleven cent stop size, which is the difference between these two numbers then you're going to need to purchase 9,091 shares in order to correctly size this position. Whether you short it or whether you uh, are buying here, uh, that's how many, uh, if you put your stop here and entered here, uh, that's, and then expected it to go lower here, that's uh, the number of shares that you would want to purchase based on that trading plan. Now, um, uh, what I actually how I prefer to use this is actually to change this to a 15 minute chart, a uh, 15 minute aggregation period uh, for determining entries. And so when I apply this here, you'll see that this has changed now to 107.77 by 107.60. And so it's saying the high of this candle, but the low of this candle, instead of the low of this candle, we're looking at the low of this candle here. And so what it is, is it's calculating based on the 15 minute candle, which takes into account the last three five minute candles here. And it's saying your entry, if you were shorting this, would be under here, 107.60, and your stop would go 107.77. And uh, so, and based on that, you would take 5,882 shares instead. And so that would be how you would correctly position size your position for a 15-minute entry instead of a 5-minute entry. Um, another thing that this indicator allows you to do is actually provide padding on either side of your entry and uh, stop. So say I don't want it to trigger at the exact bottom of this candle. I want it to trigger at the penny below that. And I want to set my stop a penny above the high of this. So I can tell it to give me that padding on either side. Uh, give me that one one cent padding on either side of the entry and the stop and so now you can see that it's added a penny here and, and subtracted a penny here from the low and it's readjusted that position size accordingly so that uh, my entry will be one penny here one penny above here for the stop and it will size it correctly based on those that entry and stop with the new numbers and so now you can just, you'll glance at this, these numbers, you'll know exactly what to punch in for your order numbers, and you'll know exactly how many shares to size it to. And so uh, you can, you know, move through the order process and your uh, workflow a lot more quickly here and be, sh be confident that, you, that you're actually sizing your positions exactly how you need to be sizing them. Uh, in order to main, maintain that consistency that we all want as traders. So uh, I just kind of wanted to show you that. I know it's, uh, it, you know, it, it's a pretty simple looking indicator, but I think it's a, it does a very um, important uh, service and it uh, provides a way of streamlining your workflow to make sure that you're, uh, you're not spending a lot of time, you know, punching numbers into calculators to, to size your positions correctly and so forth. And, you know, not having to do the mental math and everything um, to, you know, to find your entries and stops and all that kind of thing. Um, 
So that's what the indicator does. Uh, if you're interested in it, go ahead and check it out at the website, and I'll provide the link uh, below to that. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks.